Matt Murdock. I couldn't help hearing the police taking you away, sir. If you if you should need a lawyer, here's my card. Karen Page. Mr. Murdock, we are getting so worried about you in this big crowd. Matt Murdock. I'm okay, Karen. I was just eh, trying to drum up some business. Amazing Spider-Man, Volume 1, Issue 16. Duel with the Daredevil. Peter's given a hard time for not calling Mary Jane Watson and setting up a blind date with her. In order to get some peace and quiet, Peter heads out as Spider-Man. When swinging around, he notices a gang of criminals escaping with bags of money who decide to attack a nearby bystander who might place them at the crime scene. That witness is none other than Matt Murdock, a.k.a. Daredevil. But Spider-Man sees a poor blind man in need of help and rounds up the criminals. Foggy Nelson, Murdock's partner, and Karen Page, his secretary, are waiting on Matt in the office and invite him to go to the circus despite his blindness to have a good time. At the circus, the ringmaster and his crew prepare the final touches, falsely claiming that Spider-Man himself will show up for charity to lure more people into their trap. The show begins and Spider-Man, feeling obligated because his charity, appears much to the crowd's delight and gives an acrobatic show like no other. The ringmaster uses his hat to hypnotize not only the audience but also Spider-Man so he can rob them. Matt Murdock, not affected by the hypnosis, senses the disturbedness and becomes Daredevil to take on the crook. The ringmaster uses his hat to get Spider-Man to fight and protect him as he takes on Daredevil himself. What a stroke of genius on my part. I've hypnotized Spider-Man to fight my battle for me, to fight the one who might save him. I must defeat Daredevil. It is the ringmaster's will. My radar sense detects a small aluminum object 10 feet off the ground. It must be a trapeze. By concentrating on, on Spider-Man's heartbeat, I knew he was about to leap. But for how long can I elude him? Footsteps. The ringmaster is fleeing. Only he can break the hypnotic spell. I've got to stop him. Spider-Man, save me. Your will is my will. I must save the ringmaster. And so the two mask adventures begin their battle. A battle caused by the ruthless power of the ringmaster. Daredevil is much faster than I would have guessed. His strength is astounding. It's many times that of a normal man. I can't possibly match his own superhuman strength. My only chance is to outthink him. I have saved the ringmaster as he commanded. Still in hypnotic trance, not acting under his own will, Spidey waits for further orders after he has done what he was told to do. Don't stop you, fool. Daredevil isn't beaten yet. Lucky for me, Spider-Man can't think for himself. The advantage is mine while he's moving under a hypnotic spell. After him, Daredevil must be defeated. Daredevil must be defeated. This pole must lead to the trapeze platform. I'll have room to maneuver up there. While I am denied the use of my vision, Spider-Man's brain is fine by hypnosis. Thus, neither of us has a clear-cut advantage. My radar sense informs me of objects hanging nearby, and my logic knows that this must be trapeze. You can't escape me as easily as that, daredevil. My spider web can beat any trapeze. He's coming towards me again. Head him off. He's agile as a panther. He landed in front of me, but now he'll stop to wait for further orders from the ringmaster. I'll take advantage of the slight pause to flip myself over his head. I did it, and I can hear the ringmaster's heart pounding 10 feet from me. My foot touched a circus ball. Just what I need. Then before the startled hypnosis can move. If I make you tumble, your hat's sure to fall. A second later, guided by a sound of a still shaking hat, fearless daredevil hurls his all-purpose billy club cane with unearing accuracy. My hat! I must get it! My super sensitive hearing picked up the sound of the tiny electronics vibrating within the ringmaster's hat. In some way, it's responsible for its hypnotic power. Retrieve hat at any cost. After him, spy Spider-Man retrieved my hat at any cost. I was right. Can sense the power surge of energy pouring outward from the hat. If anything, I can stop Spider-Man this w will. Hulk, you are no longer under the ringmaster's spell. I release you from the trance. Daredevil grabs the hat with his cane and removes the spell on Spider-Man, then returns to the crowd as Matt Murdock. Spider-Man cleans up the rest of the carnival crooks by riding the human cannonball and tying up the crooks. After the hypnosis is removed from the crowd, Matt naturally offers his service services as a defense attorney to now arrested ringmaster. Notes. Aunt May mentions the idea of Peter going on a date with Mary Jane again. Peter skirts this idea until he is finally forced to meet her in Amazing Spider-Man issue number 42. Matt Murdock speculates that Spider-Man is about 17 years old in this story. However, he is a little off. For the sliding time scale of Earth 616, less than a year has passed since Peter first got his powers in Amazing Fantasy 15 per Civil War 2. Peter has stated he was 15 years old when he first got his power. The ringmaster
Taylor recounts how his circus of crime was previously defeated by the Hulk. That happened in Incredible Hulk number three. This issue is set between Daredevil 3 and Daredevil 4. Next issue, Amazing Spider-Man Annual, Volume 1, Issue 1, The Sinister Six.